Hello, in this video we're going to plug in all right, x equals negative 2 into each of these four expressions. Now whenever you have a sequence of expressions or a group of problems to solve, I encourage you not to just solve them individually, but look for a pattern. In other words, is there anything you notice about these expressions so that if you solved one of them, you could then solve all of them. Now when I look at these, I notice we've got 2, 3, 4, and 5. Well, this second number, the number adding to x, is going up by 1, each expression. So that means my total sum, since x is staying the same and the second number is going up by 1, the total sum should also just go up by 1 each time. So all we have to really do is solve the first one and then count up. In the first expression, it's negative 2, which is x. We know x is negative 2, they're telling us here. And then we're adding 2 to that. Well, negative 2 plus 2 is just 0, right? If you're at negative 2 and you go up twice, that brings you to 0. You can picture that on a number line. If you have 0 here, here's negative 1, here's negative 2. If you start at negative 2 and then you go up 2, you have 1 time, 2 times, and that's 0. Well, if that's 0 and we're going up by 1 each time, my answers will go 0, 1, 2, and 3. This makes sense. On our number line, we're hopping 1 further each time. So the second expression, we hop 3 times from negative 2. That goes up to 1. Then we hop up 4 times from negative 2, right? And that gets us to 2. And then we hop up 5 times from negative 2. 5 hops gets us to 3. You can see here we have one, two, three, four, five hops. All right, thanks.